Hey guys, it's Drew with Anatol. Today we're here to talk about our wonderful Ares 2 operating system and an in-depth look of how it works. This is the main operating screen that gives the operator complete control of every variable option. If you notice, our operating screen is a digital representation of our physical press. The circular wrench icon represents the heads. If I click on it, it opens up the window that gives me the controls for that specific head. Every head has a wrench and a pallet associated with that head represented by a blue icon. In the head window, you'll notice a power button in the upper left hand corner. This turns the head on and off. Green means it's on, gray means it's off. We can easily click on any wrench to open up the window for that head, or we can scroll through the heads with these arrows in the upper right hand corner. We know which head we're dealing with because of this icon right here that tells me which number head it is. So our operating system is smart enough to not want to let us to print a blank palette. Therefore, if we have a shirt underneath our head, we'll need to put a shirt on our screen as well. So we want to line up our bearings to our forks, allowing us to lock our indexer. So our operating system is intelligent enough to know whether it's lined up or not. If I hit the lock button and it's not lined up, it's just going to flash at me until I bring the pallets into line. So when the indexer is out of line, we hit the lock button and it's not going to lock until we bring it into line. If it's not lined up, it will flash at us for a given amount of time and if we wait too long, we'll have to hit the button again. Once the machine is locked, the lower menu will appear, giving us access to a variety of functions. Once the table is locked and the lower menu appears, we can do things like index right, index left, or table up and down. These are all things that we'd use when registering a job or setting up the machine. Located here, we've got a button that says full. By pushing this, we can switch it to half, which allows us to do half indexing. This will allow us to bring the pallets to a halfway point, making it easier to clean a screen or check an image. Instead of using this button here to go half, I prefer to use this clear screen. What this does is brings it to a half index, and when I'm finished, I push the same button, and it brings me back to where I left off, so I don't have to remember which direction I went, and I don't have to hit multiple buttons. If our machine was loaded up with t-shirts, like so, and we wanted to remove them all, we could do it with one easy click of this button here, Clear Info, and all of them are removed. Our dwell time settings are located right here. Dwell time is how we set extra time needed if we need additional time for loading and unloading shirts. This is additional time after the machine has completed all of its necessary functions. After all of its print heads have finished, or flash heads, I can set up to 10 additional seconds to allow for additional time for loading and unloading. If we want to set the dwell time, we click on it and we can set the dwell time here. Anywhere between 1 and 10 seconds. If we can't keep up with 10 seconds, then we advise that you use manual mode. Manual mode is an option for people when they want to run a little slower. This is great for beginners, people learning, specialty garments, or things of that nature. It's also great as an owner operator if we're trying to multitask and do more than one thing at once. Manual mode is gonna be at my own pace where I'm gonna be hitting the go button for every single t-shirt. Every morning our machine will start in manual mode. If we'd like to change to auto mode, all we have to do is click this button here and now we're in auto. Ideally, we would want to be in automatic mode. Automatic mode is where we are going to try to keep up with the pace of the machine and we're going to keep moving at a steady pace. The machine is going to keep going until we hit the stop button. But first, we need to hit the start button here and the stop button will appear and we can hit it to stop. The stop button is not stop, this is an emergency. The stop is stop when the machine comes to a good stopping point. The machine's gonna complete all of its functions and come to a good stopping point before coming to a complete stop. If there's some sort of an emergency and you need to stop the machine, we highly recommend you use one of the safety bars.
We highly recommend using the safety bars in emergency because it's easier and faster for you to get to because they're located all the way around your machine. By moving one of these out or in on any of our heads should stop the machine instantly in case there's an emergency. In case one of these fails for any reason, we always have a fail-safe emergency stop. Located in the center of our press is our counters. These represent the number of printed shirts that we've completed in a production cycle. It will count shirts in both manual and auto production. So this number here is like the lifetime on our machine. This is like the odometer in your car. It tells you the lifetime number of prints printed on this machine. The only way to reset this would be to replace hardware or have a factory reset. This is the jobs printed. This counts how many I've printed in one job cycle. To reset this, I would go to my counter window. The button to open the counter window is located here. If we click on this, our counter window opened and we get the option to reset our job counter. Also located in our counter window is our remaining section. This allows us to set up the remaining shirts to keep better track of those larger orders and allowing us to keep our managers, production staff, and owners all on the same page at what's left to be done for that job. This is our new skip shirt counter. This allows us to keep track of how many times we're hitting the skip shirt button in a day. This will reset every day. In the bottom right hand corner is our speed. Thanks to great feedback from screen printers like you, we've adapted it to do pieces per hour now. You can switch back and forth for our older customers who still like the dozens per hour, but we find that people really like to be able to look at the pieces per hour as well. Located here is a green pallet. This green pallet represents our load station. This pallet has many of options. Some of you may remember them as print start or print finish. We have adapted new print icons for these features. This icon represent print start. This is telling the machine that I am loading t-shirts, that I'm going to be putting a shirt on my pallet, and I will continually put shirts on after this as well. This is the print finish icon. I use this to tell it this is my last t-shirt or this is my only t-shirt for test printing. This is also represented as the print finish. While the machine is stopped, I have a third option of a blank pallet. I can do this if I make a mistake, stop the machine and tell it I missed my shirt. Ideally, we wanna get in the habit of being in full auto mode and being able to go from print start to print finish in a comfy flow. We have two different test options. We have the option of testing one shirt all the way around my machine, or we have the option of testing one head at a time. 